Joins us now. We've been talking about the weather and what to expect tomorrow, and I know it's a tough forecast to handle. It, it is going to be a tough forecast. It's going to uh, bring something, something there's intense. There's so many elements to uh, take yeah. into effect as we go into tomorrow. So we are looking at some winter weather, okay. probably moving into the whole region. Now is it going to be snow, freezing rain, a mixture? Well, I'm going to have the details right now in my full forecast. We'll start off with what we have going on right now. Here's your satellite and radar. And most of the precipitation, that big system that's just churning off to the southwest over the Pacific, is eventually going to work its way to the northeast. We have some dry air in place to the north, cold dry air, and that's going to make a difference as we go into our forecast for tomorrow. So look at the rain showers along the coast. It's going to bring in some snow. It's going to bring in a mixture. It's already doing that at this time for the southern section areas like Medford. But as we go up I-5 come tomorrow morning and into the afternoon, some problems uh, for the road is definitely likely. So a winter weather advisory for all the counties that central and southern would Willamette Valley till from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow. Wintry mix, light snow and rain, especially for areas like McMinnville uh, and to the south, Corvallis. Uh, areas like that could see some snow to start off the morning and then turning over to some rain. I'll have some details on that in just one second. And then we also have the winter weather advisory for the gorge, the Columbia River here, uh, Hood River off to the west from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So it's going to take some time for this system to go to the south, to the north, eventually bringing in a wintry mix. Uh, probably more so snow for you folks in the gorge, but I I think some freezing rain is possible too. Our current temperatures in the upper 20s right now. It's 28 degrees in Portland, 28 for Vancouver. So it is cold out there. We do have that cold, dense air just hanging right through most of the valleys. Eugene at 25, Salem at 26, but you can see Medford at 33. Some warmer weather is eventually going to work its way on up. We have current sustained winds right around 21 degrees running out of the east in Portland, stronger through the western gorge, and even off the coast there, picking up at 21 at Newport and 17 miles per hour at Tillamook, making it seem much colder out there. So if you're heading out tomorrow morning, even running out maybe to the end of the driveway tonight for whatever to run to the car real quick, it's going to be cold out there. It's going to feel like the teens and dropping down to single digits. Follow me along hour by hour because we have a lot to really track as we go into the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. Current temperatures in the upper 20s. That is cold. That would be more so snow, but it depends on what's going on aloft. So we get into tomorrow morning. The rain just flies on in and then also the snow. I think as we get into right around 10 a.m. on our Sunday is when things will really start to pick on up through the Portland region. We're going to start off with some snow from about 10 a.m. to about late. Uh, midday to the early afternoon and then eventually turning over to rain. Temperatures will warm up to about the mid 30s and it gets warmer as we go through the overnight. So we're going to be talking about um, some wintry mix, some snow and some freezing rain as we go into tomorrow. This is what I'm looking for the winter weather forecast. I think light snow starts right around 10 a.m. into the afternoon. Approximately right around one inch of snowfall is possible. And depending on how dry it stays, it might be below that. And if things saturate a little bit quicker, we could see even a little bit more than that, but approximately right around one inch. Freezing rain and rain is uh, probably going to be what we see by the time we get into our late afternoon. So things will warm up a little bit, especially aloft. And that's going to turn any snow into some rain by the time we reach uh, into the late afternoon. And then that's just going to cause some traveling problems by the time we get through our day tomorrow, especially I-5 and I-84 through the gorge. So the coastal forecast for tomorrow, rain, it's going to be too warm along the coast. It's going to cloud over by the time we reach the afternoon. Temperatures in the low 40s, but the wintry mix, some snow is possible through I-5 corridor, especially down to McMinnville. Uh, areas like Salem, the east section of the coast range could pick up some snow, especially through the morning. A couple inches is possible for you folks. Patchy freezing fog, light snow to the east, not as bad, but the gorge could definitely get about one to two inches through the gorge. And then off to the Cascades, you'll pick up some snow too. Your seven day forecast that winter weather is only going to last for a little bit. It should warm on up. Look at that back to the 40s by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Mid 40s at that. So we'll trade the cold, dry weather for a little bit of a winter mix tomorrow, eventually warming up to just rain by the time we get into uh, the midweek of next week. Yeah, it should be an interesting day tomorrow for sure. It's going to we're going to okay, get the weather app if you don't have it already because yeah, we'll have some updates sure. there and then make sure you stay tuned to Coin6 because we'll have updates. It's going to it's going to take some monitoring tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Yep. Cool. Thank you for that. Well